instead of doing it like that, instead of it's instead about kind of taking a step back and having like a sort of bird's eye view of what is hematology about. And if we look at hematology from a bird's eye view, we can start seeing, oh, okay, there's only really three topics in hematology. We've got um, anemia, we've got coagulation, and we've got cancer. And within hematology, almost everything can be split up into either anemia, coagulation, or cancer. And then we can be like, oh, okay, that's interesting. So then we've got a few lymphomas, we've got a few leukemias, um, we've got the myeloproliferative disorders, we've got myelodysplastic syndrome. Oh, all of these things can go under the cancer category. Okay, now we've got the thrombophilias and the coagulation disorders. That can go, go under the clotting category. We've got microcytic, normocytic, macrocytic anemia. We've got thalassemias. That can all go under the anemia category. And we can think, oh, that's amazing. I now understand like what the big picture of hematology is. I have scoped the subject, which means that when it comes to revising something like hemophilia, for example, I know exactly where it fits into the bigger picture. Or when it comes to, you know, hairy B-cell lymphoma or, you know, chronic myeloid leukemia or whatever, I know exactly where it fits into the bigger picture. So